Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody's trying to engrave this one and cut, or no, engrave this one and cut this one out. This is an SVG file. And he asked me if he, he had trouble opening it. Well, you don't want to open a, that type of file. You want to import it and then go to that file and then import it. And I just did, so it's the same thing. This one's got multiple problems. This one's pretty easy, but if you see, it's all together. So we need to go to object and this time ungroup all. And then if you delete and you delete your map, you've got to go to object and break the curve apart. And then we want to get rid of this rectangle. This one's relatively easy. It's got some funny lines in there. I don't really understand why it is, but we're just going to delete these lines R we're going to have to click on it, go to object, break this curve apart. And you can actually take, well, there's so many nodes, you're going to have to use the virtual segment delete key and just delete these lines. Just make sure you get all of them that are going to be in that street. And I don't really know about this part of the left-hand side. Uh, where it's right over in here, but we'll get to that in just a second. And since he's going to engrave this, this will be relatively easy to uh, do it because it doesn't matter if it's a, it's already a, a vector type file. And let's zoom in here a little bit and make sure we get rid of all this. And this is the case where you could get the uh, shape tool and click on that and then just delete that. Hit the delete button. Well, I'm on that line, so I need to get these and then delete that. And then this must be part of this, so we're going to delete that. And then since those are the only ones really selected, we'll select all these and just hit delete. I don't know about this other part, so we're going to back up and go ahead and finish using the virtual segment delete key. I um, uh, have a little concern on that one part. And there's other parts of the map I don't really understand uh, what's going on. And we're going to leave it just like that for right now. I don't know. Maybe we'll do this. Maybe we'll get rid of these lines. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now, there's some lines that are going to be really, really thin when we fill them. So we could do a couple of things. Let's grab these and grab the shape tool. And let's just, well, let's do the bottom one first. Let's select them all and move them down a little bit. And then we can select it again and just, just make it a little bit wider because we're going to use the Smart Fill tool. And then we can delete some nodes uh, just to make it look better. And then use this to make them a little bit more rounded. Same thing on this, since we moved it over, we can come this way a little bit. Um, I don't work too much with SVG files, so I don't really know what, what is going on with that. But that looks pretty good. We want to delete that last node and bring this in a little bit. I don't know what this represents. And then there's some like this that I would just delete. Um, they're gonna be so small uh, you're not going to be able to see them anyway. There's some parts I don't like about the map, and I don't understand this part right here. Um, but it's not my map. So what we're going to do now, you see we have some open lines. And because this is all pieces, we can select it all, hold down the shift key, and double click on the rectangle tool, and that put a rectangle around our lines, now we can take the Smart Fill tool, set on black, and fill all that in. And then we miss the street right there, and we miss the street right here, and we miss the street right here. Now, if you're gonna engrave this, uh, you would maybe put it in a frame and it would hide some of this edging anyway. And I, so I don't like this part of the, the map, but I can't really uh, do anything about it because I don't know too much about the map, we can left click, right click. That's just like a big intersection. So I'm gonna call that one done. 
This one is a little bit different and it's gonna take a long time. So I'm not gonna do the whole map because I've already done it here. So that's when he was gonna cut out. So once you, let me back up here, make this better. So you've got a smart field. You can move the smart field down and <clears throat> uh, this one he's gonna cut. So we need to go left click, right click and and do the same thing with a rectangle or not, the, the ends are closed. Uh, so this would all cut out and the streets would disappear. And you know, the only part of the board that'll be left, well, let's just do that. Let's put a rectangle around the whole thing, use the smart fill tool. And that's kind of what it's gonna look like cut out. Uh, you know, if we fill in, so all these pieces of wood are gonna fall out, all the black parts. So I hope that helped him on that. Now this one, is a little bit different animal. Uh, you can see it's all grouped together, so we go to object, break the curve apart. And then we can grab the shape tool. Now this is gonna be monotonous, and I'm not gonna do the whole thing in the video, but we're gonna grab the shape tool and we're gonna grab, well, let's go up to object again and break the curve apart. Because we wanna just be able to get one line at a time with the shape tool. So we're gonna select That node, and you see it's, it's all blue. We're basically taking away the lines. Just select them all and hit delete. Take that line, select all the nodes, and hit delete. I don't know what um, what's causing that, but there, you know, this is how you can get rid of it. Now, you can just select those lines with the pick tool and delete them. Um, and that'd probably be the easiest way, but you can't just... Um, use the virtual segment delete key. Now we could, with the pick tool, we could try holding down the alt key, selecting all those and hitting delete, and it did work. So that one's almost ready to go. We'll get rid of this rectangle. Now this one he's gonna engrave. So <clears throat> what I would do is, is evidently there's a river that runs through here and some other bodies of water, I'm thinking. So this thing is, let's see how big it is. Uh, less than 10 inches, so we're gonna set our nudge factor on 10. We're gonna take the smart fill tool and fill in this river. I hope I didn't get off the edge there. There we go, and then just nudge it over. And you would just have to go through there and fill all the, I must have put in 41 inches. My number probably wasn't like, but let's leave it like it is. So then that's going to be your riverbed. And, and if you had all the other parts, that would work. Now what we need to do after you've got them all, let's zoom in here. I would take the black and just start deleting this stuff. Because this is like the river. So I would delete all the black. And you could actually use find and replace on this. And matter of fact, let's just do that. Let's select it all, go up to edit, find and replace, find objects, edit query. Let's, well, look, before we do that, we need to find out what this is. This is a outline. <clears throat> well, we're just gonna go with black and not a so we're gonna to go to outline properties. No, let's go to uh, general color palette. Double click on that, that didn't work. Uh, maybe it is properties. Uh, we have to go down to outlines. There we go, and pick a color and go pick don't use that black, go and get, get your eyedropper tool. Well, why isn't that working? There we go. And then grab that, it's actually a gray. Okay, okay, find all, no objects found. Now, okay, let's just back up here. Let's just, um, we could figure that out, but I'm just 
It's late at night. I've been promising this person I do this all day long. Been uh, Memorial Day weekend and been out family stuff. So let's just delete all this stuff. Because then all you have to do, you're deleting the river and the rest are roads that he's actually going to engrave this. And this would be pretty easy. I don't know what the other black is to the right hand side or the bottom. It's a uh, evidently some river type water, but after you always fill this in, you could delete these or fill them in. You, know, you probably know more about the map than I do. Well, you definitely do, but let's just delete all that. Now you've got all the black deleted and let's just take this and find out what these lines are. And they're 1.34 points, so they're bigger than a hairline. Just select them all, double click on your pen tool. I would make them, uh, if you're gonna engrave it, you need to make it RGB black and and then make them something other than a parallel, uh, you know, half a point and hit okay. That will engrave. Now there's some little problems in there that kind of look funny, but you know, I didn't draw the map. And then since our nudge factor is still set on the same, you could nudge this back and it will engrave that river quite a bit better. Now the same thing is put an outline around this, just select the whole thing, hold down the shift key, double click, and now you've got a rectangle around the box. Anyway, I hope that helped him a little bit, and thank you for watching.